Hey y'all, does your meatloaf always come out dry, tasteless, and it just doesn't look very good sitting on your plate? Today, a few tips to help you fix that. Now for the moisture, add carrots, celery, and onions to a food processor and mince. All of these have high water content and it just adds moisture to your meat while it's cooking in the oven. Mix equal amounts of ground pork and ground beef together. Then add in your veggies, breadcrumbs, watch this here sauce, eggs as a binder, salt, pepper, and fresh garlic. Gently mix this together until it's well combined. Don't overwork it, otherwise your meat will come out tough. And since we don't want our meat sitting in all that grease while we're cooking, take a sheet pan, put a rack in it, cover it with foil, spray it with nonstick spray, then take a knife and poke holes in it so all that grease can go into the pan and your meat's not sitting on it. Then just form your meat into a loaf and we're going to cook this in a preheated 350 degree oven for almost an hour. When it comes out, let it rest about 10 minutes. Slice into it. Now for the more appealing part. We're going to make this look even better and we're going to give it more flavor. Sear both sides in a skillet over medium high heat. That just adds so much more flavor. Plate it up on a bed of mashed taters. Hit it with some brown gravy and enjoy an absolutely pretty, delicious meatloaf. Thanks so much for stopping by. Leave a comment. I'll answer every one of you. But until next time, as always, bye-bye, y'all.